Welcome to the World Brief. The content of the briefing includes. Dollar strength is looking like a new normal. Senate aid investigated over unofficial actions in Ukraine. India's plan to turn isles into own Hong Kong riles environmentalists. Why Zelensky's plea will fall on many deaf Republican ears. Japan's Nikkei hits new high after topping 1989 peak. Dollar strength is looking like a new normal. Bloomberg. The strength of the US dollar can be attributed to the strength of the US economy compared with other regions, according to Barclays Bank analyst The Mos Fiatakis. The US has put itself first for some time, with policies that have supported its domestic economy and reduced its reliance on imports, Fiatakis said. Policies such as backing energy independence have also helped establish the US as a net energy exporter, while the country's tech giants have attracted overseas funds. The dollar's strength has also been supported by the prevailing high interest rate, which has been a source of strength to the currency, said Jefferies Brad Bechtel. However, if the US shows deteriorating growth, the dollar could weaken, as could a trade war. But until this happens, the market sees no rate cuts, and the greenback will remain strong, Bechtel added. Senate aid investigated over unofficial actions in Ukraine. New York Times. Kyle Parker, a senior Senate advisor for the U.S. Commission on Security and Cooperation in Europe, is under investigation for providing $30,000 worth of sniper gear to Ukraine's military and making frequent trips to Ukraine's war zones. The Commission's director and general counsel have raised concerns that this equipment transfer could make Parker an unregistered foreign agent and have suggested that he may be targeted and exploited by a foreign intelligence service. Parker denies any wrongdoing and claims to be the victim of a campaign of retaliation for making accusations of misconduct against the report's authors. India's plan to turn isles into own Hong Kong riles environmentalists. Nikkei Asia. India's attempt to transform a part of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands into a South Asian Hong Kong has sparked concerns over the potential impact on the environment and indigenous communities. The $9 billion mega-project will see the port at the island's capital, Port Blair, significantly expanded, along with the construction of an international airport and tourism facilities. Critics argue that the development will destroy the area's unique ecology and threaten the survival of tribes such as the Nicobaris and Champan. Why Zelensky's plea will fall on many deaf Republican ears. CNN. There is a simple reason why many Republicans will snub Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's desperate plea for billions of dollars in arms and ammunition. Sending more taxpayer funds to a war on the edge of Europe is incompatible with the America First creed of a party dominated by ex-President Donald Trump. The previous and possibly future commander-in-chief's position is countered by President Joe Biden, who warns that allowing Russia to win would embolden an adversary that could threaten U.S. security. Their likely rematch means the 2024 election is about far more than who will run the United States for the next four years. It's likely to decide the fate of Ukraine, the shape of the Western world and the nature of U.S. global power. Japan's Nikkei hits new high after topping 1989 peak. Al Jazeera. Japan's stock market, the Nikkei 225, has hit a new high after surpassing its 1989 peak last week. The index rose by nearly 0.7% on Monday, extending a rally that has made Japanese stocks some of the best performers of the past year. Major gainers included Mitsubishi UFJ Financial Group and pharmaceutical company Daiichi Sankyo. This surge in the stock market has been driven by foreign investors taking advantage of the cheap yen and corporate governance reforms that have boosted shareholder returns. However, Japan's overall economy continues to struggle with slow growth and structural challenges. Update 1 Goldman Sachs, Mubadala sign $1 billion private credit Asia-Pacific partnership deal. Yahoo! Mubadala Investment Company has formed a partnership with Goldman Sachs to invest $1 billion in Asian private credit deals, with a specific focus on India. The partnership will be managed by Goldman Sachs Alternatives Private Credit Unit and will have a dedicated team operating across the Asia-Pacific region. The deal is part of Mubadala's strategy to increase its exposure to private credit opportunities globally as rising interest rates create more distressed assets. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Six, your resident observer from the Six Degrees World, here to bring you the latest news and insights. Let's dive in, shall we? First up, we have the strength of the US dollar, which is looking like the new normal. Analysts point to the strong US economy, supported by domestic-focused policies and reduced reliance on imports. Add to that energy independence and the success of US tech giants attracting overseas funds, and you have a recipe for a strong dollar. Of course, the prevailing high interest rate doesn't hurt either. But keep an eye on the US's growth and any potential trade wars, as they could weaken the dollar. 
For now, though, the market sees no rate cuts, so the greenback will remain strong. Next, we have a Senate aide under investigation for providing sniper gear to Ukraine's military. Kyle Parker is suspected of being an unregistered foreign agent and may be targeted by a foreign intelligence service. Parker denies any wrongdoing and claims to be the victim of retaliation for making accusations of misconduct. Talk about a sticky situation. Let's see how this investigation unfolds. Moving on to India's plan to turn the Andaman and Nicobar Islands into its own Hong Kong. While this may sound exciting, it has sparked concerns over the potential environmental impact and threats to indigenous communities. Critics argue that the development could destroy the unique ecology of the islands and put tribes like the Nicobaris and Champan at risk. It's a delicate balance between progress and preservation, and we'll have to see how India handles it. Now, let's talk about Ukrainian President Zelensky's plea for arms and ammunition from the US. Many Republicans are unlikely to support this request, as it goes against the America First creed that dominated the party under ex-President Trump. However, President Biden warns that allowing Russia to win would threaten U.S. security. The 2024 election will not only determine the next U.S. leader, but also the fate of Ukraine and the nature of U.S. global power. Talk about high stakes. Shifting gears, Japan's stock market, the Nikkei 225, has hit a new high after surpassing its 1989 peak. This surge has been driven by foreign investors taking advantage of the cheap yen and corporate governance reforms that have boosted shareholder returns. However, Japan's overall economy continues to face challenges, including slow growth and structural issues. It's a mixed bag for Japan, but let's hope the stock market's success can spill over into the broader economy. Lastly, we have an exciting partnership between Mubadala Investment Company and Goldman Sachs. They're teaming up to invest $1 billion in Asian private credit deals, with a particular focus on India. Rising interest rates have created more distressed assets, making it an opportune time for private credit investments. It's a strategic move by Mubadala to increase its exposure to this market. And that's a wrap, folks. These stories highlight the complex dynamics at play in our global landscape. From currency strength to political tensions and exciting investment opportunities, it's a world full of surprises. Now, I turn to you, my dear audience. What are your thoughts on these news stories? Do you have any burning questions or insights to share? Let's keep the conversation going. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.